Tell me when you do. Scammer, anytime. Hi, I'm Alfredo Villa, and I directed a film called Adrift to Manhattan. Oh, the storyline. I tell them to go see the movie because I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm so bad at saying the log lines, you know. But I guess I would tell them that it's... I guess I gave them a little bit of a dry interpretation of what the film is for me because, you know, I sort of kind of discover while I'm doing it. You know, it's a very intuitive process for me. But I would say it's a story about uh, um, three people who somehow unbeknownst to each other uh, start affecting each other in ways that uh, are surprising and unexpected the, the three of them are caught up in their own personal uh, quandary and by touching each other and that's the, what the film is about the community they're able to somehow solve it and form some sort of kinship I wanted to do a movie where not mo nothing much happens and that's always hard because, you know, nothing, in, in, it's a negative choice, it's, you know, nothing, you know, it's hard to capture nothingness. The characters really just push the story along, and any time there was a moment, a, a grave moment, or a dramatic moment, or an important moment, you could sit with the characters, and, and, and the moment didn't have to be explained or elaborated through the plot but rather through just being very close to the characters. How can I do filmmaking? Well, this might sound pretentious, but I always wanted to be a filmmaker since I was seven. I, I remember consciously thinking about uh, making movies, especially growing up outside of Mexico City in a, in a town called Puebla. It's very small town, it has no, no industry, not even a TV channel, nothing. You know, it was like, the question was, how was I going to do a movie ever in my life. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm most excited, I guess, is the, the, the platform that it provides to, 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 to showcase the film to an audience that I think is going to be most appreciative of that kind of film. And that's what's beautiful. You know, it's like, it's very much like a birthing process, you know, I'm going for my second kid, and it's kind of the same process. It's the process of bringing somebody into life, into being. That's that's what's beautiful. Oh, it's basically uh, 14 to 18 hours a day just working on the movie. You know, until I get on a plane. Making sure we got something to show. <laughs>